In the Western English speaking world, when we see this bulgy tropical frog monster, we say in our minds, it's Venusaur. When we see this blue eyes red dragon, we say, it's Charizard. But to a Japanese speaking audience, these names are not the same. Because Japanese and English are two very different languages, several names had to be changed so the puns and jokes would make sense for a Western audience. For this video series, we will be discussing all the name variations found in the first 151 Pokemon, from Bulba to Mew. Bulbasaur's original name, Fushigi Dane, comes from the Japanese word Fushigi, strange, and Tane, seed. Fushigi Dane also has a secondary meaning that literally means strange, ain't it? Dragon Ball fans will remember Fushigi from the title and lyrics of the first opening, Maka Fushigi Adobencha. The ta sound from Tane becomes a da sound because of a Japanese language quirk known as sequential voicing, or Bendaku. Ivysaur is known as Fushigi So, which combines Fushigi, the word for strange, and the Onyomi, or Chinese sound reading, of grass, which is So. Fitting because he is, in fact, a grass type Pokemon. Fushigi So also has a secondary meaning, which is it seems strange, as in Fushigi So. <laughs> That's my best impression. That's the next one. Venusaur, the mascot of green version, goes by Fushigi Bana, which is the combination of Fushiki, which you probably know by now means strange, and Hana, which is the Japanese word for flower, which becomes Bana because of the rules of Rendaku. Charmander goes by Hitokage, which is a combination of He, fire, and Tokage, lizard. Hitokage also means salamander. Charmeleon and Charizard are known as Rizado and Rizadon, both names derive from the English word lizard, which is pronounced as lizado. The don in lizadon could either come from the Spanish word don, meaning boss, leader, or godfather, or the suffix frequently used with naming dinosaurs. Squirtle is known as zenigame, which means pond turtle. Zeni is also an old fashioned word for money, but what does money have to do with turtles? Possibly because the shell resembles an archaic coin, and if I could squeeze one more Dragon Ball reference into this video, the Kame comes from Turtle, and you might recognize this kanji from Son Goku's Dogi, which is the symbol of, you guessed it, the Turtle School. Who would have guessed there'd be so many parallels between Dragon Ball and Pokemon? Squirtle's evolutions, War Turtle and Blastoise, are known as Kameru and Kamex. Kameru is a word fusion of Kame, turtle, and male, as in armor. Kamex is a combo pasta word of turtle and max, or the X could stand for extreme. It's up for debate, but I think it's most likely comes from the Latin word rex, which means king, because Kamex is the king of the turtle pond. Hail to the king, baby. Caterpie's Japanese name is one of the trickiest names on our list so far. Its original name is Caterpie which is a riff on Caterpillar. Metapod's Japanese name is Transcell, a combination of transformation, cell, and shell. Butterfree's Japanese name is the same as its English. The name is a combination of butterfly and free, as in FREEDOM! Oh my god, how come I never nickname any of my Butterfree's Braveheart? Next one I catch, I'm gonna. Weedle's OG name is Beetle. Beetle is a combination of bee and needle because he's got that little needle on his head. Oh, he's so cute. I, I always liked Weedle. My friend said he's kind of gross, but I don't know. I, I think it's cute. Uh, what do you think, though? Let me know in the comments if you think Weedle is cute or gross. Kukuna is known as Cocoon. I guess when the localization team named him, they just added an A and called it a day. Kukuna's, Kukuna's fun to say, though. Kukuna, Kukuna, say it with me. Kukuna. Moving on. Beedrill over in Japan is known as Spear, which is fitting, but not very creative. Until you realize that if you rearrange the Japanese letter, get rid of this little extension vowel, it becomes Apis, which is a scientific name for honeybee. I know, Beedrill isn't technically a honeybee, but it's still cool. Gosh darn it. I censored myself. I was going to say damn it, but then I said no, there's kids here. Pidgey is known as Popo which is, <laughs> Popo, sorry, sorry. Pidgey is known as Popo, which is Japanese onomatopoeia for the sound pigeons make. Poo, poo. Call the Popo. 
Pijoto is known as Pijon, which is just pigeon spelled in the Japanese writing system. Pidget's English name remains unchanged from its Japanese name, Pijot. It's just, you know, you say it differently. Pijot is a polymerization of pigeon and jet. Jet because this Pokemon is incredibly fast. Like, it can fly at Mach 2 speeds, which is 1,534.54 miles an hour. That means it could fly from San Francisco to New York in less than two hours. I guess it makes sense considering how quick it is to fly in all the Pokemon games. Rattata's Japanese name is Korata, which is a combination of the Japanese word ko, which means young, and rata, which is a reference to its evolved form, rata. Raticate's Japanese name is Rata, which we just, I just mentioned that. Spiro's Japanese name, Onisusume, is a combination word of Oni, demon, and Suzume, sparrow. Last on our list, we have Spiro's evolved form, Firo, who in Japanese is known as Oni Dururu, which is really hard to say, Dururu, because I always want to say Jerula, like Jason Derula, but that's definitely not how you pronounce it. It's a combination of demon and drill. So, Demon Drill, which also would make for a really good nickname. I mean, it meets the 10 character limits too. Demon Drill. Hey, why not? Atkins' English name, as many of you may know, is Snake spelled backwards. And a similar style of wordplay is utilized in the Japanese version too. There he's known as Abo, which is an anagram for Boa. But for whatever reason, the official trademark spelling of the name is with an R. Arbuck's Japanese name is also Arbuck. Cobra spelled backwards, but with a K. Fun little tidbit, since Arbuck's name is the same in both languages, Koichi Sakaguchi, the voice actor who plays Arbuck in the Japanese dub of Pokemon, has his audio used in the American version too. Just like Ikue Otani, the voice actor of Pikachu. Oh, hey, look, I swear I didn't even plan this, but it's a great segue for our next Pokemon. This franchise mascot name derives from two different onomatopoeic sounds. Pika Pika, the sound of shining shimmering objects, and Choo Choo, not the sound that a train makes, but the sound of a mouse squeaking. The Pika might also be a reference to the Naki Usagi, or as it's also known as, the Pika, or the Pika. I'm actually, I think it's pronounced Pika. Yeah, I'm going with that, it's Pika. Pikachu is one of the few names that's the same in multiple languages. Same thing goes for its evolved form, Raichu. Raichu is the combination of Rai, thunder, and Chu, mouse squeaking. So, thunder squeak. Sounds like the name of a dinky Thor hammer. Sandra's name is Sand in Japanese, and I tried to find a pun, but I couldn't find any. It's just Sand. I'm sure Anakin Skywalker would absolutely love this Pokemon. Sand Slash's Japanese name is Sandopan, which means sandwich bread, but it also means Sand Pangolin, Pangolin being the real world inspiration for this Pokemon. The Nido family consists of six Pokemon that have all their names preserved in the English version. Nido comes from Needle. Nido is also the Japanese word for twice, which is fitting seeing how Nidoran pops up twice in the Pokedex, albeit opposite genders. Speaking of gender, I would like to think that the Ron of Nidoran is a reference to Rumiko Takahashi's classic shonen manga, Ranma One Half, a story about a martial artist named Ranma who switches his gender when he's splashed with water. Oddly enough, both Nidoran's fully evolved forms are weak against water. Although this is just speculation, and I might be reaching further than Michael Jordan at the end of Space Jam, spoilers, but it would be cool if this turned out to be true. Nidorina and Nidorino's names are nearly identical, with the only difference being the feminine A sound at the end of Nidorina and the masculine O sound at the end of Nidorino. Because they resemble rhinos, many believe that the Reno and Rena ending could be related to that, but I want to speculate beyond that idea. At the game corner, you can exchange coins you won via gambling for either Nidorina or Nidorino. And what's the name of the most popular gambling spot in America that isn't Las Vegas? That's right. Reno. Coincidence? Do you I think not. Are you talking? Oh yeah, I was just recording. Coincidence? I think not. Nido Queen is a combination of Nido and Queen, and Nido King is a combination of Nido and King. Kofari's Japanese name is Pee Pee. Pee Pee. <laughs> Pee Pee is Japanese onomatopoeia for fingers waving, which you know Clefairy loves to do. It's also a combination of the word Pixie, which just so happens to be. Clefable's Japanese name. Vulpix is Rokon, 
and that comes from the number six, roku, and kon, the sound that a fox makes. Rokon is also an anagram of konro, which means burner. Nine Tails Japanese name, Kyukon, is a combination of Q, nine, and Kon, the sound that a fox makes, and it's also a reference to the Japanese fox spirit, Kyubi no Kitsune, also known as the Nine Tail Fox, which pops up a lot in Japanese media. Jigglypuff is known as Pudin, which means pudding. Wigglytuff is known as Pukurin, which is a combination of Pudin, Pretty, and Fukureru, which means to inflate. Because it kind of like, it's like an inflated version of Jigglypuff, so that makes sense. It's like you put more air into Jigglypuff, you get a Wigglytuff. Zubat is a combination of Kaiketsu Zubato, the 1977 Shotaro Ishinomori toku drama, and Bat. Zubato is also the Japanese word for without hesitation, which is the most accurate name they could have chosen for this Pokemon, because when you're exploring caves, Zubat will jump in your face without hesitation. Golbat is a combination of ghoul and bat. Oddish goes by Nazo no Kusa, which means mysterious grass. Gloom goes by Kusai Hana, which means smelly flower. Vileplume is known as La Freixia, named after the real life flower that was the basis of this Pokemon's inspiration. Paris is a short name of Parasite, and Parasect is a combination of Parasite and Insect, which is appropriate seeing how this Pokemon is half Parasite, half Insect. Or maybe it's all Parasite, and there's no Insect there left to speak of. Kompan, Venonat's Japanese name, is a shortening of Compound Eyes. It's also a combination of Konshu, Insect, and Panorama, in reference to its panoramic radar vision. Its evolved form, Venomoth, or Murifon, is a combo of Moth, Metamorphosis, and Morpho Butterfly, which is also known as the Emperor Butterfly. And if you see these flying around your island in Animal Crossing New Horizons, don't forget to snag one to get an easy 4,000 bells. Oh yeah! Diglett goes by Digluta, which is a shortening of Dig and Dug. And its name could very well be a reference to the classic Namco game. Doug Trio is a combo of Doug and Trio. I know, that one's obvious. Meowth has an interesting name variation in Japanese. His name, Nyasu, is a combination of nye, nye, an onomatopoeic sound for cat meowing, and the English word for mouth. So it's essentially the same exact name in both countries, except with nye replaced with the English equivalent meow, so the name would be understood by an English speaking audience. Pretty neat how it all fits together. Persian's Japanese name is the same as its English name, a combo of Per and Persian. Psyduck goes by Koduk, which means young duck. It's funny to mention that Koduk is spelled and pronounced the same exact way as Kodak, the camera film company, when it's said in Japanese. It's a Koduk moment. Golduck is unchanged from Japanese, and its name is a fusion of gold and duck, even though it's blue. What's with all these shows getting the color of Kappa creatures wrong? It's like in Jojo Part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable, Red Hot Chili Pepper is actually golden and not red at all. Also, I will never understand why its shiny form was not golden. Disappointed. Mankey's Japanese name is also preserved in English, and it's a portmanteau of Mad and Monkey. It's also a reference to the easy to rile Mandro Primate. Primate is Okori Zaru, which is a merger of Okori and Saru, which becomes Zaru with a strong Z sound because of the rules of sequential voicing. Okuri Zaru literally means Mad Monkey in Japanese, making his name the Japanese equivalent of Mankey's name. Growlithe goes by Gadi, which is the shortening of Guardian, due to the fact that this Pokemon is based on a Guardian Beast statue from Chinese culture. Arcanine is called Windy because it runs like the wind with its extreme speed. Poliwag is called Nyoromo. It's a combo of Nyoro Nyoro, the sound slippery things make, and Kodomo, child. Poliwhirl is Nyorozo, slippery and zo, a sentence ender that serves as a spoken exclamation point. Zo also means intestines, because the spiral on its tummy is actually its organs visible through its transparent stomach. Freaky, huh? Polyrath is Nyorombon, a combination of slippery and bone, which means floods. The psychic type Pokemon, Abra's Japanese name, is actually one of my favorites on our list so far. His name is Casey, in reference to real-world psychic Edgar Casey, who is known as the Sleeping Prophet. 
Hence why Abra naps 18 hours a day and is able to use psychic powers while asleep. It's also a reference to the Kichi, the mythical cat creature from Celtic folklore. Kadabra in Japanese is Yungera, named after world famous spoon bending magician Yudi Geller. And Alakazam is named Houdin, after Harry Houdini. Both names have an U and N sound in them, and this could come from the Japanese word Supoon, which means spoon. Spoon being these two Pokemon's weapon of choice. I wonder if they've ever played Knifey Spoonie before. That's not a knife. This is a knife. The next three, Machop, Machoke, and Machamp, originally go by Wanriki, Goriki, and Kairiki, which means physical strength, Herculean strength, and superhuman strength. Bellsprout is known as Matsubomi, which means still a bud, because even though you stored him away in your PC, he's still your bud. Weeping Bell is Utsudon, a combination of Utsubo Kazura, pitcher plant, and Don, the Spanish word for godfather. I mean, I guess he kind of looks like Marlon Brando. Fig Tree Bell's Japanese name, Utsupoto, is a portmanteau of Utsubo Kazura and Pot. Tentacle is known as Meno Kurage, a combination of Meno Kataki, which means enemy, and Kurage, jellyfish. It may also be a pun on the Japanese expression Meno Doku, which means poison to the eyes. The Doku ties in with the evolved form Tentacle's Japanese name, Doku Kurage, which means poisonous jellyfish. So the first parts of these two Pokemon's names completes the aforementioned expression, Meno Doku, poison to the eyes. That's not a very nice thing to say. Geodude goes by Ishi Tsubute, from Ishi, stone, Tsubute, pebble, and Te, hand. Graveler is Goron, which comes from Goro Goro, the sound of rolling, and the English word stone. So Goron means rolling stone? Rock on! Next one on catch, I'm gonna name it Keith. Fans of The Legend of Zelda may remember a certain group of rock people with a similar sounding name, the Goron. Golem's Japanese name, Goronia, sounds close to its English version. This name is made up of Goro Goro, rolling sound, and Montania, the Italian word for mountain. Ponita is Ponita, from Pony and Bonita, the Spanish word for cute. Now Rapidash, that's a cool Pokemon. I bet his Japanese name is going to be amazing. Gallop? That's awesome! Slowpoke is Yadon from Yadokari, Hermit Crab, and Don, which means dull or stupid. Yadonushi also means host body when referring to an organism that is infected with a parasite. Which brings us to our next Pokemon, Slowbro, also known as Yadoran. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a definitive answer for what the Ron means, but I'm going to go with my favorite explanation. Adding the Ra turns the e ending into Doran, which is one letter shy of being Dorunk, which is drunk spelled with the Japanese phonetics. The shelter on his tail is pumping it full of venom, so that does mean this Pokemon is literally intoxicated, so it's a true statement. Hey, wouldn't it be the first time Nintendo named a pink character that has a relation to alcohol? Good old Vodka Dranginski. Glad I could reference you. Magnemite is named Koyuru, and Magneton is named Dea Koyuru. This could be because their appearance resembles the components of a Tesla coil, an oscillator invented by Nikola Tesla that was used to generate high voltage of electricity. Perfect fit for these electric steel types. And you know what? Tesla coil is exactly 10 characters including the space. Also perfect for a nickname. I'm just coming up with so many awesome nicknames with this video series. Farfetch is Kamonegi, which comes from the word Kamo, duck, and Negi, onion. And it also comes from the old Japanese axiom that describes a duck bringing an onion. So if you were hungry for duck onion soup and you saw a duck bring you an onion, it'd be very strange, but convenient. I guess if there was an American version of this expression, it would be a chicken carrying BBQ sauce. A surprise, but a welcome one. <laughs> I quote the prequels too much. What does that say about me? The two-headed bird Pokemon, Doduo, is called Dodo, which comes from the flightless bird of the same name. It also comes from the Japanese word Do, which means the same, and Dodo, which means to accompany someone. Its evolved form, Dodrio, is a combo of Dodo and Trio. Seal's name is Pow Wow, and that's onomatopoeia for seals barking. 
But it also is a play on a word of powwow, which means, you know, like a party. It's like, let's have a powwow. I don't really use that, but maybe I will. Maybe I will from here on out. Dugon's name is just Dugon, and I couldn't find any puns and no, no cool etymologies for this guy. Sorry. Grimer is known as Beto Beta, and that means sticky sticky in Japanese. Muck is known as Beto Beton, which is a sticky ton. Shelter's name, also unchanged, is a combination of shell, shelter, and defender. Cloister is known as Parushin, which is a combo of pearl and shell. Ghastly in Japanese is Gos, which is ghost and gas together. Haunter is Gosto, which is just ghost. Gengar's name in Japanese is also Gengar, and it comes from the German word doppelganger, which many fans have speculated to mean he's a doppelganger of Clefable due to their similarities and their Pokemon families both having three stage evolutions. Nintendo has yet to confirm this theory, but it's one of my favorite Pokemon theories and I thought it'd be fun to bring it up here. Onyx's Japanese name is Ewok. Really? Like the little teddy bears from Star Wars? I didn't expect that, that's crazy. Uh, it's actually a combination of Iwa, which means boulder, and snake. Hey kids, nickname your onyx is Yubnub. The hypnotic Pokemon, Drowsy and Hypno, are known as Sleep and Sleeper. Probably don't need to explain these two. Krabby's Japanese name is Crab. Probably don't need to explain this one either. Jesus, like the developers didn't care at this point. They're just like, hey, let's call the Crab Pokemon well, Crab. All right, on to the next one. Kingler's Japanese name is Kingler, and that's a combination of King and Fiddler, the type of crab it is. Voltorb, or Bidibidama, comes from the word Bidibidi, the sound of electrical shock, and Tama, sphere. And our last Pokemon for the day, Electrode, aka Marumine, which is a combination of Maru, circle, and mine, because, you know, it loves going kaboom. The g men inspired Pokemon, Execute, is named Tama Tama. Tama Tama means unexpected. In addition to that, Tama is a shortening of Tamago, egg, and Tama, ball. Executor, or should I say, Nashi, has its name derived from coconuts and Yashi, palm tree. It also sounds similar to Nashi, pear, specifically Asian pears that are yellow. Oh yeah, they do kind of look like Executor heads. Cubone, the Pokemon I want to give a big hug to, and is a fall form Marowak, go by Katakata, kata, the sound of soft clattering, and Gata Gata, the sound of loud clattering. Hitmonlee, the kicking fiend, has its English name derived from the world famous martial artist and film star Bruce Lee. Its boxing counterpart, Hitmonchan, has its English name derived from Jackie Chan, who wasn't a boxer boxer but was sure one hell of a drunken boxer, as seen in Drunken Master and The Legend of the Drunken Master, which if you haven't seen, I highly recommend. They are really fun movies. However, in the original Japanese version, their names are Sawamura and Ebiwara, named after kickboxer Tadashi Sawamura and boxer Hiroyuki Ebihara, both famous fighters in their respective categories. Likitang's English name is pretty much a direct translation from its Japanese name, Beruringa. Bero means tongue, and lingua is a more scientific name for tongue. Berolero is also the sound of licking. It can also be said as <laughs> Coughing goes by Dolgos, a combination of doku, poison, and gas. And wheezing goes by Mata Dolgas, which literally means, again, Dogas. As in, another Dogas. Both names seem to derive from mustard gas because of the sulfuric yellow poison that both Pokemon excrete, which in Japanese is mustard dogasu. See, see, you can't say mustard dogas without saying dogas, and you can't spell it without mata dogas. Rhyhorn and Rhydon are Saihon and Saidon. Sai means rhino, and hon is of course horn, but it said in like a Japanese fashion. Don is also referring to, as we've seen many times before, Godfather. So their English names are practically direct translations of their Japanese names. The own at the end of both names could also be a reference to stone because after all, they are rocky rhinos. 
Rocky Rhinos is exactly 10 characters long too. I know what I'm naming my Rhyhorn, Jamiroquai. Chansey over in Japan is lucky because you have to be pretty lucky to find and successfully catch one without them fleeing. Tangela is Monjara, which derives from Monja Monja, shaggy hair, and Keimujura, fuzzy hair. Monja Yaki is also a fried vegetable dish in Japan that's similar to Okonomiyaki, and it tragically resembles a cooked Tangela. Poor little guy. Kangaskhan's Japanese name, Garuda, is made up of the final two syllables of Kangaroo and Ruler. Horsey is Tatsu, and that comes from Tatsu no Otoshigo, which means illegitimate dragon offspring, but more commonly is used to refer to seahorses. Sidra's Japanese name is the same as its English, Shidora, which comes from sea and dragon. Goldin, aka Tosakinto, is a combo of Tosakin, goldfish, and Kintoto, goldfish, but in the way young children would say it, like fishy, fishy. Sikin is known as Azumao, and that comes from Azuma Nishiki, a type of goldfish, and O, which means king. The starfish Pokemon Staryu is known as Hitodemon. Hitode is starfish, and Mon most likely refers to human. Starmie's Japanese name is the same as his English. However, since Staryu's name is different, the me in Starmie might not refer to me as in me and you, but most likely refers to Mizu, water, or mysterious, which just so happens to be one of my favorite Shizu Kakuto albums. Seriously, you don't know how long I waited to seamlessly reference this masterpiece in one of my videos. Do yourself a favor, pause this video, listen to a few songs, and come right back. Don't worry about me. I'll wait. Mr. Mime is called Berriado, which is a combo of barrier and barricade, referring to its ability to create invisible force fields. Scyther is known as Strike, which comes from the English word strike. Jinx is known as Rujura, which comes from the word rouge, as in makeup, combined with the sound of a kiss, choo, and hula. Electabuzz is another example of a nearly perfect translation from its Japanese name. Edabu, which comes from electricity, and buboon, onomatopoeia for buzzing. Magmar is known as booba, which is a combination of booster and burn. But it also refers to the bluefoot booby bird. And if you're laughing now, wait till we get to Magby. Oh god, did I just commit myself to doing another 100 Pokemon? Maybe. Pinsir is known as Kairos, which comes from Kai, the Greek letter for X, and cross. X cross. This is a reference to its scissor-like horns that can cross chop an enemy in half. And in case you were wondering, Pinsir can in fact learn the bug type move X scissor, which in Japanese is known as scissor cross. Interesting how the Japanese and English version of this attack each contains a part of its name, almost as if it was meant to be a signature attack. Now we move from Kairos to Tauros, which is known as Kentoros, which also has its etymology rooted in Greek, driving from the word bull, Tauros. It's also a reference to Kentoros, centaur, and Minotauros, both monsters from Greek mythology. Pretty cool how its name fuses these two mythological beasts together. Hmm, I wonder what a fusion between a centaur and a minotaur would look like. Oh yeah! Rabbit Horseman from Yu-Gi-Oh! answers this question. So this monster is like Tauros' brother from another mother. But what am I doing here? This is a Pokemon name variation series. You don't want me making a video series talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! name variations, right? Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a Yu-Gi-Oh! name variation video. Magikarp is known as Koi King, a combination of Koi, the type of fish it is, and King. Oh look, it's even got a tiny little crown on its fish noggin. Hail to the Koi King, baby. Gyarados' Japanese name is Gyarados. The Gyara could derive from Yakten, which means surprise change, which is definitely fitting for this Pokemon. And Yarento, which is the Japanese equivalent of Gallant. The Dose part could come from the Japanese word Dos, dagger, because of its dagger-like fangs. Or Dosun, the sound effect of WOMP. Many believe that the dose could also come from the Spanish word for two because it's the second stage in an evolution, but I think that's just a neat coincidence and probably not intended by the creators. I mean, if Magikarp's Japanese name was Koyuno, then sure, I'd believe it. 
Also, many Japanese websites I visited mention Gyarados' name being a fusion of two famous high-flying kaijus, Gyaros from the Gamera series and Rodan from the Godzilla series. I couldn't find any official word from Game Freak on the matter, but I wouldn't put it past them. One thing I can say for certain, they sure love Dai Kaiju films. I mean, max battles are essentially Poke Kaiju fights. Lapras is another Pokemon we can add to our long list of unchanged names. <laughs> Lapras' Japanese name is Lapulas. This name most likely derives from Lapis Lubu <laughs> Lazuli. Hold on, I got this. Lapis Lazuli, a gem that shares the same color of this seafaring plesiosaur. Oh, and the uh, Pless in Lapras could be connected to Plesiosaur, the type of dinosaur it resembles. In addition to that, it could also be connected to the French scholar Pierre Simon Laplace, I suck at French, so please do not crucify me, who studied the ocean's tides, could have also inspired Lapras's name. One more thing Laplace also apparently means seat in French. Oh, just thought of a good nickname for good old Lapras. C T. Seat. Ditto goes by Metamon, combination of metamorphosis and monster. The cutest little ball of L-O-V-E, aka E-V, is known as Ebui. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll say it, I'll say it properly. It's uh, Ebui, made up of the first two letters of evolution, set in a Japanese fashion. Eevee's evolved forms, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon, are showers, thunders, and booster. Porygon is another Pokemon whose name is unaltered. Porygon comes from Polygon. But since the L sound doesn't really exist in Japanese, he was named Porygon instead. Ammonite, Amastar, Kabuto, and Kabutops are the same in Japanese as they are in English. Omunaito is a combination of Omugai, Nautilus, and Ammonite, an extinct marine mollusk. Omusta is the same as its pre-evolved form combined with Star. Kabuto is a style of Japanese helmet, but it's also a shortening of Kabutogani, the Japanese name for horseshoe grab. Kabutops is the same as its pre-evolved form mixed with Triops. Tops is also the suffix used in prehistoric animals like the Triceratops, and that means face. So I guess Kabutops' name means helmet face? Hmm. It is 10 characters long too. To nickname or to not nickname? That is the question. Yeah, I'm nicknaming them. Helmet face is hilarious. Let's do it. Helmet face. Aerodactyl is the only fossil Pokemon to have a different name in Japanese. Putera, which is a shortening of Pterodon. Snorlax's Japanese name, Kabigon, has the most hilarious etymology we dealt with so far. Kabigon is actually the nickname given to a game freak game designer by the name of Koji Nishino, who was apparently known for eating moldy food. Hmm. Huh. Mold in Japanese is Kabi, and Gon is an automatic pay sound for a loud thud or a bonk sound effect. But the Gon part is actually most likely a reference to the Ultraman Q kaiju, Kanegon, who is also known for eating strange things. In this case, Kanegon was known for eating money. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres are probably among my favorite names created by the localization team for Pokemon. I mean, the fact that they combine their elemental forces with Uno, Dos, and Trace is pure genius. But unfortunately, I can't say the same thing about their Japanese names. In the original version, they're known as Frieza, Thunder, not to be confused with Thunder's, Jolteon's Japanese name, and Faya. I'm starting to think that Pokemon was created to teach English words to Japanese children. But hey! It's cool that Articuno shares his Japanese name with the chillingly evil Lord Frieza from Dragon Ball. Speaking of dragons, let's segue to the only dragons in Kanto. Sorry, uh, Gyarados and Charizard, you really don't count. Dratini's Japanese name is Mini Ryu. Ryu means dragon, and Mini means mini. Fun fact! Dratini was actually the center of a banned episode that was set in the Safari Zone that never aired on American television, with a warden that resembles Clint Eastwood. Dragonair's Japanese name is Hakuryu, which means white dragon, and it most likely is based off of Baodong, the dragon god of the West in Chinese mythology. And apparently in its evolution process, it went so far west, it turned into a western-style dragon. Dragonite 
which in Japanese is known as Kaidu. Kai could either come from the Chinese sound reading of C, which is Kai, or it could come from Kaiju, which means monster. Both words are associated with its anime debut, as it splashed onto the scene from the sea in a style reminiscent of cinema's most famous kaiju, Godzilla. And the nu suffix means dragon. Finally, at the home stretch of the Kanto region, we have our final two Pokemon, Mew and Mewtwo. Are you ready for the Japanese names? Drum roll, please. That was weak. That's a bad way to end this episode. Well, I can at least break down the names. Okay, so uh, Mew is the sound that cats make, and two is the second number of numbers. Okay, okay, let's dig a little deeper. Uh, Mew can also come from the word mutant. It also sounds close to the Japanese word Mio as in kimyo, which means bizarre, as in Jojo no kimyo na woken. Fun fact, Uncho Ishizuka, the voice of old man Joseph Joestar in Stardust Crusaders, is also the voice of Professor Oak in the Pokemon anime. That's a fun way to end it. Jojo rocks, right? Well, that was fun. I had a great time making this video. In fact, I don't want to stop. There's hundreds more Pokemon to talk about, so let me know if you want me to continue to the Johto region. I wanted to give a big thanks to Bulbapedia, Japanese Pokemon Wikia, and the ZooCon for all the information provided in this video. And thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest videos and live streams. 